all warmly welcome on SLTV Lab. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see how to determine the electrical axis of the heart. You may wonder what is the electrical axis of the heart. Actually, the electrical axis of the heart is the direction of the depolarization of the ventricles. You know, ventricles are two big chambers of the heart. Now, the determination or how to determine the electrical axis of the heart is based on algebraic summation of what? Of the amplitude of the waves. You know the waves are the deviation found on the electrocardiogram. So that constitutes QRS complex. Do you get me? The summation of the amplitude of the waves that constitute QRS complex. I think you know the waves that makes QRS complex. Those are QRS waves. Now, for a wave under the zero line, which is electric line, you count it as a negative number of millimeters. Now, for a wave above zero line, count the positive number of millimeter and make an algebraic summation of those waves. Now, if the sum is negative, I mean the summation of the waves is negative, the vector will be oriented to the negative side of the read. Now, if the sum is positive, then the vector line will be oriented to the positive side of the read. Now, let's see how you can draw those leads just by using bipolar limb leads. You remember those lead, limb leads are read 1, lead 2, and read 3. You draw a equilateral triangle. We call it Enthoven's triangle. Now, on each side, the zero is at the center of the side. So every side will represent a read. Do you get me? Now, you have drawn your Enthoven triangle, the equilateral triangle. The next step is now to just put there the summation of the QRS waves starting from the center which is zero the center of every side now to draw the summation use the appropriate scale that allows you to report qrs amplitude on the three sides now how do you do it draw the vectors representing QRS amplitude on the three sides of the triangle. Every side represent the read. There is read 1, read 2, and read 3. You will use the same scale on every side. If you have taken like an example of using millimeters, you use millimeters. If you have taken the example of using centimeters, use centimeters on every side representing the reads. The other thing you have to respect the orientation of the vectors. The orientation means if the amplitude of QRS is negative, just draw the vector into a negative direction. If the amplitude of QRS is positive, now draw it into a positive direction. The next step will be to draw the perpendicular lines passing through the end of each vector each vector of the three those three perpendicular lines 
delineate a small triangle. Do you get me? If you draw those lines that are perpendicular to the end of each vector, those lines will make a small triangle. The next step now is to draw a horizontal line passing through the center of the grid triangle. Do you get me? Draw a horizontal line passing through the center of the grid triangle. The grid triangle is the other triangle, the equilateral triangle representing the reeds. Now you will draw the second line. That line will pass through the center of the grid triangle and the center of the small triangle. There is a lock. there is a horizontal line face that passes through the center of the grid triangle. Now this is the line passing through the center of the grid triangle and the center of the small triangle. The next step is measuring the angle between the other horizontal line and the line passing through through what the centers of the grid and the small triangles in degrees you get me you have to measure the degree or the degree of the angle between the horizontal line the other line passing through the center of the grid triangle and the line passing through the centers of both small and great triangles. Now, what is now cardiac heart axis deviation? That degree, that those degrees of that angle is the electrical axis of the heart. Do you remember which angle? The angle between the horizontal line passing through the center of the grid triangle and the line passing through centers of both grid and small triangles. So that angle between the two lines, that is what we call electrical axis of the heart. Now, geometric electrical axis of the heart can also be determined using augmented limb leads. You remember those are unipolar limb leads, AVR, AV arrow, and AVF. The first method was using the bipolar limb leads, read one, read two, and read three. Now we are going to use the unipolar or augmented limb leads. Good. Where are the three lines? A line is representing what? Representing the leads. Where those lines intersect, put zero. Then report the vectors representing the amplitudes of QRS on the three axes. Is that clear? The lines representing the unipolar or augmented limb reads intersect. Where they intersect, put zero. Then report the vector representing the amplitude of QRS on the three axes. Also, as on the bipolar limb reads, you have to respect the negative and positive orientation of the vector and proceed as we have done with the bipolar limb reads. So the next step is to conclude. How do you conclude? You have to indicate if electrical axis of the heart is normal or not. How do you do it? Depending in which quadrant it is, like from 0 to 90 it is normal, from 0 to minus 90, it's a left axis deviation. 90 to 180, it is a right axis deviation. 
so from minus 180 to minus 90 it's extreme right axis deviation is that clear 0 to 90 it's normal 0 to minus 90 it is left axis deviation 90 to 180 is right axis deviation minus 80 to minus 90 it's extreme right axis deviation so at the end here is the remark depending on body constitution or how the body is small left deviation can occur it means 0 to minus 90 degrees can be considered as normal in which kind of people in thick person i mean obese or big person and small right deviation can occur like 90 to 120 can also be considered as normal in tall and thin person this can happen thank you for watching the video i hope it's very helpful so please don't keep this information just with yourself share this information to your colleagues and see you in another video next time may god bless you abundantly please support this channel by pressing like subscribe and the bell This is a huge support for this channel. May God bless you.